Understanding Avalanche Control, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and important topic, avalanche control. This phrase might sound intimidating, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Understanding such terms is not just about learning new words, but also about connecting with real-world situations. So, let's dive in and understand what avalanche control really means. Before we talk about avalanche control, it's crucial to understand what an avalanche is. An avalanche is a rapid flow of snow down a hill or mountainside. While it can be natural, sometimes human activities can trigger it. Avalanches can be dangerous and are known for their destructive power. They are a significant concern in mountainous areas, especially during winter. Now, let's focus on the term avalanche control. It refers to the methods used to prevent or reduce the impact of avalanches. This is crucial in areas where avalanches pose a risk to people, such as ski resorts, mountain towns, and roads through mountains. Avalanche control involves both understanding the science of avalanches and taking practical steps to manage the risk. In this section, we'll look at the various methods used in avalanche control. These include 1. Avalanche mapping, identifying and mapping areas prone to avalanches. 2. Use of explosives, triggering small, controlled avalanches to prevent larger ones. 3. Snowpack analysis, studying the snow to understand its stability. 4. Structural defenses, building barriers, such as walls and fences, to stop or divert avalanches. Each method plays a vital role in ensuring safety in mountainous regions. Avalanche control is not just about safety. It's also about enabling people to live, work, and enjoy recreational activities in mountainous areas. Without it, the risk of avalanches could make these areas inaccessible or dangerous. I hope this video has helped you understand the term avalanche control. It's a remarkable example of how humans interact with nature, using knowledge and technology to protect ourselves and enjoy the beauty of mountainous landscapes. Remember, learning a language opens the door to understanding a wide range of topics. And today, you've added a significant one to your list. Stay curious and keep learning.